It's Friday, of course, and for us at this time of day, it means it's time to talk movies with Linda Cook, and she is here in her usual spot with two movies that have some Oscar nominations. That should mean good things. First of all, good to see you. Good to see you. We're going to talk about two films today. One of them I've seen, I'm happy to say, and that is American Fiction we're going to start with. You enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. My wife loved it too. Well, there you go. Three out of three. So this is a brilliant movie, I think. For, in a lot of different ways, in my opinion. Exactly. It's very well written. It's based on a book, and I think they brought it to the screen in such a creative way. It's about a, a man who's a, a literature professor, and um, because he happens to be black, his work is taken differently than work by other authors. And he devises a way that perhaps will make him a best-selling author. Kind of exploits that perception. To the nth degree, he <laughs> <Yeah>. does. <laughs> Meanwhile, his family life is very challenging, and he is just finding that he's he, he comes into roadblocks everywhere. I laughed during this movie. I thought during this movie. And the ending, you will not expect, and I thought it was so cool, so creative and fun. They I really did movie. a great job. And, and they're seri very serious points of this and actually if you talk about the subplot when you talk about the language and the perception that those are very serious points to consider that maybe we don't think as the society at large absolutely it's a social commentary too as very well much as, so. as a comedy and a drama I, you can't go wrong with this movie four out of four stars acting is great a great cast as oh, well from Jeffrey top to Wright. bottom Jeffrey Wright is so wonderful he carries the whole thing on his shoulders I just love him fantastic so you gave a you four out of four mm -hmm. you can see they'll sli still see this in theaters absolutely and uh, it's it's uh, Cinemark and it's at the last picture house and that's where we saw the last picture mm -hmm. house we enjoyed it very much all right one more movie we've got zone of interest this is a very different tone of course here this is about Auschwitz except not quite White Auschwitz. It's about the family that lives just outside the concentration camp. So a German family. Here. Exactly. They go through the motions of a normal family life. We never really see Auschwitz in this movie. We don't have to because we hear it in the background, the gunfire, the cries, the screams, and all the while the family, the German family, the commandant is part of that family, has people over for dinner, they play with their children. It is blood curdling in its coldness of its characters. It is so well told. And the very last part of it, although it is rated PG-13, is so abrupt and so jarring, it made me gasp out loud. This one done in English, or is it a subtitle movie? It's subtitled. Okay. And it's rated PG-13, but don't think that this is a superhero type movie that's for all ages it's really for not mature audiences for very sure, serious content. i've never seen anything like it i think it's probably the best holocaust movie i've ever seen really that's a mm -hmm. big statement now i know Be american fiction is up for best picture is this up for best picture as well yes fantastic linda cook thanks so much for your time also four out of four stars remember you can read linda cook's reviews in much greater detail online as always at